Okay, so hopefully you guys saw those clips. Um, I put them in on purpose. I want you to get a little bit of context as to where I'm coming from here. Here's the point. Um, man, like, I think there's, like, a really big difference between therapied women. Like, if you go watch that, the rest of that podcast with Tia and Izzy, you'll see that they take a moment and talk about how Tia has a very normal relationship with her therapist. Izzy was, like, asking for recommendations because she wants to start therapy. <laughs> And then you see, like, the way that, like, Eric and Mina and the other girl are are acting, like, what they're going through, really how sensitive they are about their own motherhood. Um, Then you see Michael Knowles, right, giving a very interesting talk about um, the black family. Now, Michael Knowles makes a point, which I think a lot of people just don't take into account. Like, um there will always like in america at least we will continue to like like, racial groups are important and it's not just this like segregation thing it's that like for the most part people will continue to like 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 each other like the most common relationships will be like but like white people dating white people black people dating black people like intra-racial those will continue to happen that's just a normal thing but there's this like really there's this weird push that's happening for like everyone almost to like hate black women to so like as a society to collectively hate black women. Now if you hate black women, what you're also saying is kind of you you're gonna hate the black family because there's no there is no black family without black women. Even if you have um a a parent who's like non-black like in Tia's case she has a parent that's non-black but she's still a black woman I mean actually like look at her she like literally looks like a black woman (laughs) so uh, the one thing that's very strange is to see so many black men kind of ignore these issues that are happening in the black community and maybe think that they will like I don't know interracial their way out of the the issues I don't the issues just fall on the next generation right it's like the next generation of black women are coming and we see like how they're dealing with it also there's a there's other um conversations to be had about just I feel like the brutality that was shown to Jocelyn Hernandez I talked about this in another video I just thought it was very strange like I mean, if it, like, I will say it feels like Jocelyn Hernandez was already on the edge, you know, like there was something, something was happening with her and she was just very distraught by whatever the situation was. And then people kept antagonizing her. So she throws something and then they arrest her. And it was just like the way that they arrested her was very strange to me. It felt brutal. Like it, that would have caused me a lot of trauma. That would cause actually anyone really think about it. Like it was like six men who arrested her and they like basically did a knee on the back sort of thing. They put her in handcuffs. They like drag her out. Um, the only thing that she has at this point is she's like screaming these like racial epithets. It, the whole, it was very sad and very scary. Like I would hope that no woman would have to go through something like that. But it's just another example of kind of the, the, the severe trauma that I feel like I will say like women of color exhibit this, but um, it always starts with black women. Like it starts with like black women having these like really derogatory experiences And then society kind of like normalizes it like, oh, it's okay. Black women can take it. Black women definitely cannot take it. And then it like stems out to women of color and then it stems out to white women. And so the reason why we have some of these like women's movements where like women are coming on and they're talking about problems that are facing communities of women because they're like they see shit happening to other women and they realize that if they don't like push back and say like this is a bad thing it's going to start it's going to be normalized for them and they don't want that shit normalized for them this is why we have to have groups that push back against kind of like the trans issue because if if trans women come for all the things that are women and then now there's no things for women then nobody ever pushed back on it uh there won't be any more like women there will just be like these like fluid dynamics which i'm i'm not even saying necessarily that that's like well, 
I'm going to leave my personal actually philosophy on that out. I don't think it's useful. But that's a thing. Like, I, I think it's important to push back and really to talk. Like, I don't see other people talking about it in this way that gives grace to the women here who are, like, impacted in a way where I feel like it should be. I just wanted to give it some grace and actually and what I mean by that is I just wanted to give it space give space for you to see like what I see the way that I see it really so that you can like formulate your own opinion about it like do you think that 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 all of these women were treated fairly I feel like and also like do, do you do you see a difference between kind of the way that like Erica Amina and the the other the blue haired woman were were talking about parenthood and the way that Tia and Izzy are talking about parenthood and even like the way that like Michael Knowles is talking about the black community as much as I think it's like wrong and I feel bad about it Michael Knowles I think is right I actually agree with him in so many ways I was I saw some people co- I made a comment on um one of Kenya's videos which was like I mean, marriage is kind of the only thing that we have right now in society that's encouraging men to, like, basically stick by their families. And other people seem to make fun of that, which I thought was, like, very weird. Like, the the sanctity of marriage is, like, a real thing. And, like, the idea of monogamy is a real thing. And I, I I don't understand. I think that there's, like, so much going on and so many things in the black community, especially amongst black males that have been normalized, like... The dehumanization of black women is a whole thing where like you do it to one black woman like they do it to Suki right and then people watch it and everybody like normalizes it and they don't understand that that's someone's daughter that's someone's potential wife like that's actually a black woman in society and all the black men are like making fun of her because like this is okay this is okay it isn't okay it isn't okay And all it's doing is, like, symbolizing to other communities, like, the worthlessness of black women who already are just extremely marginalized. It's All of it is just so strange because, like, you, I just don't hear other members of the black community talking about it. I feel like some of it has to do with respectability politics. I also saw that uh, FIC is going to make a video about respectability politics or something with Sexy Red and Trina. Uh, I would love to see it. I, I mean, I, I just feel like I don't even know how to talk about those women. I feel like I, there's certain parts of Trina that I just respect for just being vocal, right? Just, just like talking about her own experience. Also, like, I, it feels like I don't even know how it's like a political stance for Trina to say like I'm pretty and I can get shit because I'm pretty. Like, that was a whole, that is, like, a political stance. Is it because she's black? Like, (laughs) even though she's, like, Trina, and, like, you go look at the videos, like, Trina is, like, very attractive. I don't know what, I don't even know how there's another stance, but this is America, so clearly there's another stance even beyond that. Um, I will say, though, I, I really feel like I wonder why more people aren't talking about the, like, Jocelyn Hernandez's treatment by police and and i feel like i don't even have to talk about that in a racial sense it was just watching a woman be treated like that is scary as fuck because it opens the door for like women to get fucked up like they they'll just fuck up anybody doesn't matter who you are like they will come for you and they will kill you they're coming for your wives they're coming for your daughters like Uh, To me, that's what I saw in that video. I saw another instance of just sheer unsafety for women. And I feel like I keep seeing it. And it's another reason why I continue to say, like, if you aren't a part, if you yourself aren't taking accountability and saying, you know what, I actually see the shit that's happening in society. It's not cool. And also, if you watch those videos and you're completely numb, like everything was fine for you you didn't really feel shit, like, no emotions were triggered, you might actually be a part of the problem. That shit was traumatic as fuck. You should probably, I'm not, I mean, I'm not wishing you trauma, but, like, that probably should have traumatized you a little bit, and if it didn't, I'm a little concerned. Like, why, why is that behavior normal for you? Like, what has gone on in your life where you can see that and you can be like, it's good. 
that is not good. It's so not good. It's like the opposite of good. It's bad. It's actually really bad. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear it. I'm actually going to watch a film tonight that's about... Um, I think it's, it's a Gloria Stein, Steinem. She's like a, a female activist. And it's a, a little film on Amazon uh, video about her life. I'm going to watch it. Um... I think that movie actually might probably change me in a lot of ways. Movies like that typically do. They always impact me. Guys, I'm probably going to go study like women's studies somewhere (laughs) and literally just become like a women's study professor because like I, I see the issues now in a way that like I just feel like I didn't see them before and it's really impacting me to a point where like I feel like I have to do something. Um, so yeah.